namuona waziri wa kilimo mifugo na uvuvi akiwa ameingia hapa ukumbini Mugenzo usalama wa taifa Namuona pia waziri wa maji na umwagiliaji Jason Wenje Yuko hapo Kadhalika namuona mkurugenzi Kule wizara ya mambo ya nje Shukulika na mambo ya Asia Iyo ni mberu wa Kairuki teta na mmoja maofisa wa India pale kwamba itifax imezingatiwa kuna mtu anapita kwa karibu kule nyuma ya bendera kuhakikisha kwamba mambo yako vizuri kabisa ili viongozi wakija hapa hakuna kushangaa wala mshtuko kila kitu kinakuwa kimepangwa vizuri waziri mkuu wa India dr Narendra Modi yupo nchini kwa ziara ya siku mbili akiwa ametokea Afrika Kusini kabla ya hapo alikuwa nchini Msumbiji waziri wa mambo ya nje ushirikiano wa kimataifa baloza Agustin Maiga ambaye atakuwa na sign moja nyaraka hapa umeona anjongojewa sasa ni viongozi hao wawili waweze kuingia katika ukumbi huu sasa na wale maofisa ambao walikuwa jirani jirani na mazungumzo ya Faraga nao wamo humo ndani sasa natoka maelekezo kwa watu wa nyenyuke wasimame mambo yamewiva na waona waziri mkuu wa India Dr. Narendra Modi na Rais Magufuli tayari wameingia na wameketi katika viti vilivyoandaliwa mahususi mkurugenzi kaimu mkurugenzi wa mawasiliano ikulu Jerson Msigwa atakuwa anatoa Your Excellency Dr. John Pombe Magufuli President of the United Republic of Tanzania Right Honorable Narendra Modi Prime Minister of the Republic of India, Your Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, Vice President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Ambassador John Kijazi, our Chief Secretary, Honorable Ministers and Permanent Secretaries, Members of the Press, ladies and gentlemen. Excellencies, it is my great honor and privilege to welcome you all to State House Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. It is my belief that you have enjoyed your stay in Dar es Salaam since you arrived to this land of Tanzania, which is not only your historical relative, but also your great partner in different areas of cooperation. As you have just concluded your, talk, your official talks, here is another very important event between our two countries, Tanzania and India. Our first event will be signing of agreements, memorandum of understanding, and exchange of documents between our two countries. Okay. Your Excellencies, allow me now to welcome our two parties who will participate in the signing of our first agreement, which is a line of credit for water supply system in Zanzibar. I now welcome Mrs. Doloth Manyika, the Deputy Permanent Secretary and the Minister of Finance and Planning, and Mr. 
Yadvendra Mathu, the chairperson and managing director of Exim Bank India. Nam ni kusainiwa kwa makubaliano juu ya mradi wa maji huko Zanzibar na ambao unasainiwa na naibu katibu mkuu katika Wizara ya Fedha na Mipango wa Tanzania na kwa upande wa pili ni mwenyekiti na pia mkurugenzi mtendaji wa Exim Bank India manake huko ndio fedha zile zitakuwa zikitokea ni mradi muhimu wa usambazaji wa maji huko Zanzibar Thank you so much. Our next is the memorandum of understanding on cooperation in the field of water resources management and development. I would like to welcome Engineer Mboga Mbogo Futakamba, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Water and Irrigation on Tanzania side and Mr. Amal Sinha, the secretary in the Ministry of External Affairs. You're welcome. mkataba mwingine makubaliano mengine kuhusiana na, na maji unasainiwa na naibu katibu mkuu kutoka wizara ya maji na umwagiliaji na kwa upande wa Tanzania huo na kwa upande wa India ni afisa kutoka wizara ya mambo ya nje wa India makubaliano ya awali memorandum of understanding is nyaraka muhimu kabla ya kuanza au kuelekea katika hatua ya utekelezaji wa miradi ambayo makubaliano yake yanasainiwa hii leo. Huu ni mradi pia kuhusiana na maji. Wa kwanza ulikuwa unahusu Zanzibar na huu wa maji vile vile. Kwa hiyo makamu wa rais pamoja naye katibu mkuu kiongozi wakiwa wanashuhudia kile kinachoendelea kwa manufaa ya watu maji ni muhimu na wanasema maji ni uhai kama hujayaoga basi utapiga mswaki matumizi yake ni mengi kweli kweli au utafuria au utapiga thank you very much our next is another memorandum of understanding on vocational training between india and zanzibar and i would like to invite mr ali halel mirza the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Land, Water, Energy and the Environment on the Tanzania side and Mr. Amal Sinha, Secretary in the Ministry of External Affairs from India. Welcome. Makubaliano mengine ya awali sasa yanahusu um mradi wa mafunzo ya ufundi na kule Zanzibar rasmi wanasema mafunzo ya amali nayo na makubaliano hayo yanasainiwa kama yale ya mwanzo ya kuhusu maji na sasa ni kuhusu mafunzo ya ufundi au kiwa Zanzibar sema mafunzo ya amali
kisha maliza kusign na nyalaka zile kubadilishana nitakachofuata baada ya hapo itakuwa ni maelekezo kama kuna makubaliano mengine thank you so much your excellencies we had another bilateral agreement on exemption of visa requirements for holders of diplomatic and official services passports but this one is already signed and please allow me to proceed in the next agreement which is the joint action plan between NSIC and CEDO for cooperation in the field of micro small and medium enterprises i will now invite janet e minja the acting director general in the small industries development organization cedo on the tanzania side and mr amal sinha the secretary in the ministry of external affairs from india you are welcome nam uo ni makubaliano sasa ambayo yanahusiana na viwanda vidogo vidogo kwa upande Tanzania na sign kaimu mkurugenzi mkuu wa shirika la viwanda vidogo vidogo sido na kwa upande wa India ana sign katibu kuu wizara ya mambo ya nje ni kuhusu viwanda vidogo na viwanda vya kati na inafahamika kwamba hili ni moja ya maeneo ambayo India imepiga hatua kubwa kwa hiyo ushirikiano katika maeneo haya yanaweza kawa na manufaa kwa Tanzania Thank you so much Your excellencies Our, our last item was about the submission of topographical charts. Your Excellency, allow me to give some explanation on that. In February 2016, Tanzania and India conducted a joint hydrographic survey using a survey ship. This survey took four weeks. This is an important survey which extends cooperation flow from bilateral arrangement cooperation in hydrographic between the two countries and also provides training and capacity building in hydrography today the hydrographic survey maps will be submitted to tanzania in your presence your excellency i now welcome dr aziz mlima permanent secretary for foreign affairs and east africa cooperation in front of you and honorable amal sinha the permanent secretary for foreign affairs in india to come in front of you and submit the hydrographic survey map Thank you very much once again. Our next event, your excellencies, is a media briefing. This is a time when you will be addressing the people of India and the people of Tanzania through media. I would like to assure you that as far as the, our relationship between the two countries is concerned, our fellow citizens have been following this visit very closely and I'm sure they are very thirsty to hear from you. Your Excellency, let me now welcome Your Excellency Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of the Republic of India, to the podium and deliver your speech, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, President John Mao Fayuli, members of the media, 
Thank you, Excellency, for your warm words. I am also grateful for the generous hospitality extended to me and my delegation. Today, on day four of my visit to four African countries, it is indeed a pleasure to be in this vibrant city of Dar es Salaam. Excellency, I'm in agreement what you was talking into our meeting about the strength and future potential of our relationship. Friends, the eastern coast of Africa and Tanzania in particular have enjoyed a strong links with us. We are all maritime neighbors. Together, our leaders and our people have fought colonialism and radical uh, and racial oppression. Our merchants have traded since early 19th century and the vast strength of our Indian Ocean has kept our societies and our people connected. Friends, I am deeply grateful to President Magufayuli for agreeing to my visit on Sunday. It is a tribute to his motto of Hapa Kaji Tayu. meaning work and work only. President Magu Favili has a vision for nation building, development and industrialization, a vision that is my dream for India too. Friends, India is already a substantial economic partner of Tanzania. The whole range of our economic ties are healthy and on upswing. Our two-way natural trade stands at around 3 billion US dollars. Indian investments in Tanzania, already total around 3 billion US dollar, and Indian businesses in Tanzania continues to grow and expand. We consider it our privilege to be a trusted partner in meeting Tanzania's development priorities. Today, President Magu Fayuli and I held detailed discussions on the full spectrum of our partnership. Our focus was to shape an action-oriented agenda of cooperation so that we talk these of potential and more of achievements on the ground. We agreed that our common desire of economic prosperity for our societies is creating new opportunities for expanding our cooperation. For this, both of us felt that we need to, one, deepen our partnership in agriculture and food security, 
including through enhanced export of policies from Tanzania to India to work together in development and use of natural gas. Three, partner in building up industrial economy capacities and institutions in Tanzania. And four, deepen our trade and investment partnership by encouraging greater industry to industry ties. Friends, as a developing country, India understands the need and urgency to improve the lives of our people. And as a friend, what you want to achieve for your people will also be the focus of our effort. In this regard, the completion of $100 million for increasing water supply to Dar es Salaam is a good achievement. We have just now signed an agreement for $92 million line of credit for water supply system in Janjiba. We are also working on a number of other water projects for 17 cities. And for this, India is willing to consider an additional $500 million line of concessional credit. Public health is another important area of our engagement. We are ready to meet the health care priorities of the Tanzania government, including of supply of medicines and equipment. I am told that an Indian radiotherapy machine is being installed at Bugando Medical Center to treat cancer patients. Education, vocational training, and skill development are other areas of our priority and where India is willing to offer all possible assistance. I also understand that the IT Resource Center at the Nelson Mandela African Institute of Science and Technology, Arusha, is close to completion. India's cooperation with Tanzania will always be as per your needs and your priorities. Friends, being neighbors across Indian Ocean, President and I agree to depend our overall defense and security partnership, especially in the maritime domain. Our in-depth discussions on regional and global issues reflected our considerable convergence on issues of common interest and concern. We agreed to work closely, bilaterally, regionally, and globally to combat the twin threats of terrorism and climate change. On climate change, India had led the efforts to form an international solar alliance 
at COP21 in Paris, in this alliance, which has the support of over 120 countries, we welcome Tanzania as a crucial partner. <laughs> Friends, we in India, we have had the honor to receive very every presenter of Tanzania. I look forward to welcoming President Magu Fuli in India at the earliest possible opportunity. Let me, in the end, thank Your Excellency, the President, for your friendship and for receiving me so warmly. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, Tanya Ward. Your Excellency is having heard that statement and that speech that way. Let me now welcome His Excellency Dr. John Pombe Magufuli, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, to the podium and deliver his speech. Your Excellency, sir. After hearing the speech in English, I think that you will be happy to hear the speech in Swahili. Mwishmiwa Waziri Mkuu Narendra Modi, Mwishmiwa Viongozi na Ndugu Andishi wa Habari, Leo ni siku nyingine, ambapo Tanzania tumepata ugeni. Nilifikiri nizungumze ninawe ya zungumza yote, alafu ntakupa speech yangu. Hii meandikwa kwa kiingereza, alafu tazisoma tu hapo. Napenda sana kumshukuru Mwishmewa Waziri Mkuu wa India ndugu Modi kwa kuja kututembelea pamoja na ugeni aliyofuatana nao kwa bahati nzuri India ni miongoni mwa nchi tajiri inajulikana iko kwenye grupu la G4 ambayo inahusisha nchi ya Brazil, Japan, Ujerumani na India. Lakini pia India ni miongoni mwa nchi tajiri katika Asia ambapo kuna India, Japan na China. Lakini India chini ya mkutano wao walioufanya mwaka 2015 walianzisha kitu kinachoitwa India Africa lengo lao kubwa ni katika kuzisaidia nchi za Afrika katika kujenga uchumi wake Mheshimiwa Narendra Modi amewasili jana usiku na ameambatana na wafanyabiashara takribani hamsini ambao hivi sasa wanafanya mazungumzo na wenzao wa Tanzania kwenye ukumbi wa benki kuu kwa niaba ya serikali na wananchi kwa niaba yangu pia binafsi napenda kukukaribisha hapa mheshimiwa waziri mkuu na viongozi wote umetupa heshima kubwa kwa kukubali kuitembelea Tanzania. Tanzania na India zina uhusiano mzuri tena wa muda mrefu. Uhusiano huu umejengwa katika misingi ya kuheshimiana 
na masilai ya pamoja tunashirikiana vizuri katika ngazi ya kimataifa ya kitaifa na kupitia umoja wa mataifa jumuiya ya madola na pia kupitia jukwaa la India Afrika ziara hii ya mheshimiwa waziri mkuu ni kielelezo cha uhusiano wetu mzuri uhusiano wetu mzuri umeziwezesha nchi zetu kunufaika kiuchumi hivi sasa India ni mbia wetu mkubwa kibiashara thamani ya bidhaa ambazo nchi yetu inauza katika soko la India imeongezeka kutoka kwenye dola za kimarekani milioni 187 mwaka 2009 hadi kufikia dola za kimarekani bilioni 1.29 mwaka 2015 aidha uwekezaji kutoka India ambao umesajiliwa na kituo chetu cha uwekezaji cha hapa Tanzania una thamani ya dola za Marekani bilioni 2.4 na umezalisha ajira za watu zaidi ya 54176 India ni ya tatu yenye uwekezaji mkubwa Tanzania ikifuatiwa na Uingereza pamoja na China India pia tumekuwa tukishirikiana kwenye masuala ya kijamii ikiwemo elimu maji na afya Hivi sasa Watanzania wapatao elfu mbili wapo nchini India kwa ajili ya mafunzo mbalimbali. Aidha tangu mwaka jana India inatoa nafasi za masomo 330 kwa Watanzania kusomea nyanja mbalimbali nchini India. Hivi punde meona mikataba iliyosainiwa lakini pia tumeona faida kubwa ya fedha zilizotolewa za karibu milioni 178 kwa ajili ya mradi wa maji pwani pamoja na Dar es Salaam hali kadhalika tumeshuhudia takriban mikataba sita ya ushirikiano na moja ya mikataba hiyo inahusu mkopo wa dola za Marekani milioni 92.8 kwa serikali ya Zanzibar kwa ajili ya usambazaji wa maji Zanzibar mkataba mwingine unahusu msaada wa mashine ya vipimo vya kansa ambavyo serikali ya India imetoa kwa hospitali ya rufaa ya Bugando. Ninaamini mashine hii itasaidia sana katika kutoa huduma za vipimo vya kansa kwa wakazi wa kanda ya Ziwa na Watanzania kwa ujumla. Kwa sababu hizi nilizozitaja na nyingine nyingi sisi wa Tanzania tuna kila sababu ya kujivunia uhusiano wetu na nchi ya India. ndugu zangu kabla ya kuja hapa tumefanya mazungumzo rasmi na mheshimiwa waziri mkuu yalikuwa mazungumzo mazuri sana tumejadiliana masuala mengi ya kuimarisha uhusiano na mshikamano kati ya nchi yetu mbili katika swala la kilimo tumekubaliana kuimarisha ushirikiano kwenye kilimo hususan kwenye mazao ya jamii ya kunde yani kunde choroko dengu na kadhalika mwaka uliopita Tanzania iliuza iliuzia India takribani tani laki moja zenye thamani ya dola za Marekani milioni 
India inahitaji takribani tani milioni saba kutoka nje za mazao ya kila mwaka kwa ajili ya matumizi yake ya ndani hivyo tumekubaliana kushirikiana ili kuongeza uzalishaji wa mazao haya hapa nchini na kuingia mkataba wa bei ya mazao hayo ili kuepuka madarali na waomba wa Tanzania wachangamkie fursa hii kwa kulima mazao haya kwa wingi kwa sasa soko limepatikana la uhakika bila kupitia kwa madalali ambao hupanga bei zinazowaumiza wakulima kuhusu swara la tehama sio siri tena kuwa India ni kinara kwenye maswara ya teknolojia ya habari tuna fly India imekubali kutusaidia kukuza utaalamu wa maswara ya tehama kwa nchi yetu na kutoa nafasi za mafunzo aidha wamekubali kuleta wataalamu wao hapa nchini na hii itawezesha nchi yetu kuwa na uwezo wa kutengeneza programu zake zenyewe badala ya kununua kutoka nje hili likifanyika tutaweza kudhibiti usiri wa taarifa za zetu usalama wa nchi utoaji wa huduma na pia kusimamia vizuri ukusanyaji wa mapato katika nchi yetu kwa sababu programu zitakuwa ni zetu kuhusu swala la viwanda India imepiga hatua kubwa kwenye eneo la viwanda hivyo tuna furaha kuwa ndugu zetu wa India wamekubali shirika lao la viwanda vidogo kushirikiana na SIDO katika kubadilishana uzoefu kufanya utafiti na kutoa ushauri kuhusu miradi na sera za uendelezaji wa viwanda vidogo vidogo aidha katika makubaliano yetu India itaanzisha vituo vya utamizi yani incubators zitakazosaidia wabunifu kunufaika na mafunzo na teknolojia ya India ninaamini ushirikiano katika sekta hii utatuwezesha kufikia azma yetu ya kuwa nchi ya uchumi wakati unaongozwa na viwanda ifikapo mwaka 2025 Nchi ya India pia imekubali kuendelea kutusaidia katika sekta mbalimbali zikiwemo sekta za ulinzi na maswara mengine Maswara ya kitaifa tumekubaliana kuendelea kushirikiana kwenye maswara ya kimataifa hususan katika harakati za kulifanyia mageuzi baraza la usalama la umoja wa mataifa kimsingi tumeahidi kuendelea kuwaunga mkono India ili kupata nafasi ya kudumu kwenye baraza hilo India nayo imekubali kuunga mkono bara, bara la Afrika kupata nafasi kwenye baraza hilo maeneo mengine tuliyokubaliana kushirikiana ni pamoja na maswara ya elimu miundombinu biashara uwekezaji na kadhalika natoa wito kwa taasisi zote zinazohusika kuhakikisha kwamba magubaliano tulioyafikia wanayatengenezea mipango kazi mizuri kwa ajili ya kuiendeleza na kuyatekeleza lakini katika mazungumzo yetu pia serikali ya India inayoongozwa na waziri mkuu Modi imekubali kutoa dola milioni tano zingine ambayo zitasaidia katika miradi iliyo katika kipao mbele katika nchi yetu lakini pia nimemuomba mheshimiwa Modi na amegubali kwamba katika masuala ya afya Tanzania huwa tunatumia asilimia themanini ya fedha zetu zinazohusiana na mambo ya afya kununulia madawa na asilimia moja ya fedha zinazohusiana na vifaa vya madawa huwa tunaagiza kutoka nje
wenzetu ili ni wataalamu wa maswara haya kuwa wanatengeneza madawa mazuri lakini pia wanatengeneza vifaa vizuri nimemuomba na amekubali kwamba atatuma wawekezaji waje wawekeze katika nchi ya Tanzania ili wajenge pharmaceutical industries au viwanda zitakazokuwa zinaweza kutengeneza madawa ya malaria madawa ya magonjwa ya moyo figo kisukari antibiotics dawa za dripu na kadhalika lakini pia waje wawekeze katika kutengeneza vifaa vitakavyokuwa vinatumika kwenye hospitali zetu kwa njia hiyo tutakuwa tumepunguza gharama za kununulia na kuagiza madawa nje na vifaa kutoka nje lakini pia kwa sababu ya senta nzuri ya Tanzania na hasa kwa sababu iko ndani ya SADC na East Africa Community tutakuwa tumecreate biashara pia kwa nchi zilizo wanasama wa SADC lakini tutakuwa tumecreate kazi kwa Watanzania na kupunguza gharama hizo lakini nimemuomba pia kwamba Tanzania tunanunua sana pikipiki kutoka India tunanunua bajaji ni wanunuzi wazuri wa magari ya Tata ni wanunuzi wazuri wa magara ya Ireland Leyland yanayotengenezwa kule nimemuomba mheshimiwa waziri mkuu aone uwezekano wa kuchukua viwanda vimoja au viwili kutoka kule aja vihamishie Tanzania viweze kuanza kuassemble hizo pikipiki au bajaji au matrekta au magari ili wa Tanzania wapate ajira lakini pia Tanzania iwe moja ya soko na ikusanye ushuru hilo naro amesema anakwenda kulishughulikia lakini lingine amelizungumza yeye na mimi nimemkubalia kwamba Tanzania tuna madini ya kila aina na Tanzania ndio wauzaji wakubwa wa madini ya aina ya Tanzanite kule India lakini mbali ya kuwa na Tanzanite Tanzania sasa hivi na madini ya kila aina na amesema kule India wanapenda sana dhahabu za Tanzania lakini si dhahabu tu sasa hivi tuna madini mengine pamoja na gesi tuna gesi mpaka ya helium lakini nina uhakika palipo na helium ambayo ni inert gesi au wengine wanaita noble gesi lazima tutakuwa na xenon lazima tutakuwa na argon hizo zote tunazo lakini pia tuna madini ya methane na ethane ambayo yanapatikana kule kusini mwa Tanzania amekubali kuja kushirikiana na Tanzania katika kitu kinachoitwa win win situation sisi tupate na wao wapate sio wao wapate sisi tukose kwa kutumia wataalamu wao na wataalamu wetu katika kujenga uchumi wa nchi yetu na mimi nimemkubalia hilo kwamba wataalamu wetu na wizara zinazohusika zijiandae kikamilifu katika kufaidi na rasilimali tulizopewa na Mungu ametukaribisha pia tuingie katika umoja ule wa kushughulikia sora energy ambao walizindua rasmi walipokuwa kule Paris na rais wa Ufaransa swala hilo ni muhimu lakini kwa ujumla yale yote niliyomuomba mheshimiwa Modi ambayo mengine siwezi nikayataja hapa yanayohusiana na uchumi na maendeleo ya nchi yetu ameyakubali kwa mikono mmoja 
Kwa hiyo nichukue nafasi hii kumshukuru sana Mheshimiwa Waziri Mkuu Modi kwa kuja Tanzania. Lakini kwa support yake kubwa. Na amejisikia raha sana alivyoona na karibishwa na wananchi wengi wa Tanzania ambao ninaamini katika wale walio mkaribisha wengine ni miongoni mwao walio mpigia kura kwenye jimbo lake na nikamweleza kwamba katika bunge la Tanzania tuna wananchi wenye asili ya India wapatao kumi ambao ni wabunge wa bunge la Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania kwa hiyo India inaposaidia Tanzania amesaidia ndugu zake naye amekubali kwa hilo. Kwa hiyo hayo ndio tuliyokubaliana na nenye mmekuwa mashahidi wa mikataba hii mingi ambayo imesainiwa hapa. Nimshukuru tena kwa niaba yenu Waziri Mkuu Modi kutoka nchi ya India ambao anawakilisha population ya watu wengi lakini ameamua kuja kututembelea Tanzania. Ninasema asante sana na ninyi mliohudhuria hapa asanteni sana. Kwa sababu hotuba yangu nilikuwa naitafasiri mwenyewe hapa kwa Kiswahili. Sasa nimpe huyu aisome kwa Kiingereza kama ilivyoandikwa hapa. Ninawashukuru sana. Nilitaka nizungumze Kiswahili kwa ajili ya kupromoti Kiswahili chetu. Mongo ibariki India, Mongo ibariki Tanzania. Asanteni sana. For yet another time, our country is honored to host another guest. This time, our guest is a leader from a great nation, one of the world's largest democracies and economic powerhouses, Honorable Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of the Republic of India. He arrived yesterday night accompanied by 50 businessmen and businesswomen, whom I'm told are now in a business meeting matching with their Tanzanian counterpart. On behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of Tanzania, and indeed on my own behalf, I wish to extend a warm welcome to you, Mr. Prime Minister, and your members of delegation to Tanzania. We feel truly honored by this gesture of friendship. Ladies and gentlemen, Tanzania and India enjoy long, a long-standing relationship. This bilateral relationship is built on solid foundations of mutual respect and common interests. As like-minded nations, we work well together, both bilaterally and international forums such as the United Nations, the Non-Aligned Movement, the Commonwealth, and more recently, under the Africa-Indian Forum. This visit by Prime Minister Modi is yet another manifestation of the excellent bilateral relationship that so happily exists between our two countries. The strength of our links and many shared interests enable us to cooperate well economically. Indeed, on the economic front, our countries enjoy strong ties. India is currently Tanzania's main trading partner with our bilateral trade reaching 3.5 billion US dollars in 2015. Better still, Tanzania's export grew from $187 million US dollars in 2009 to US dollars 1.29 in 2015. Not only that, today, total Indian investments in Tanzania stand at 2.4 billion US dollars, creating more than, than 54,000 jobs. 
Our two countries are also cooperating very well in the fields of education, water resource management, agriculture, health, and others. A substantial number of Tanzanian youth have benefited from scholarships offered by the Indian government. Currently, there are almost 2,000 Tanzanian students pursuing different courses in India. Indeed, since 2015, India provides at least 330 scholarships to Tanzanians to study in India. In the water subsector, we have just watched uh, 178 million US dollar project, water project for the coastal and Dar es Salaam regions financed by the Indian government. You will agree with me that the completion of this project will, look, will go a long way in reducing the problem of water supply in the two said regions. Distinguished members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, our two countries today signed about six bilateral agreements and memorandum of understanding. The agreements cover a wide range of cooperation areas, including the line of credit agreement for 92 million US dollars, uh, US and the US water development project in Zanzibar, and uh, the memorandum of understanding for the provision of the Babatron three alternative radiotherapy treatment machine that has been given to the Bugando Medical Center, the cancer ward. It is my sincere hope that these resources will be well utilized for the benefit of all Tanzanians. But before signing these agreements, Prime Minister and I have had a detailed, constructive conversation on, each, on key issues of bilateral cooperation in a tete-a-tete -tete and then in an expanded format meeting with the participation of government members. We discussed practically the entire range of bilateral and international issues. In this respect, we have noted with satisfaction the ever-growing cooperation in many sectors and agreed to further strengthen them, especially in the following fields. First, agriculture. I'm glad to be able to announce that one of the key issues discussed is the development of a Tanzania-India partnership agreement in agriculture. In this respect, Tanzania will set in place specific strategies to boost the cultivation of pulses such as lentils, peas, chickpeas that will be exported to India. On the other hand, India will provide support to Tanzanian farmers by facilitating access to better seeds, better farming techniques, reliable extension services, eco-friendly fertilizers, and access to better technology. This partnership is envisioned to address India's growing demand for pulses, as well as provide much needed lucrative rural employment for the common Tanzanians. Also, under this partnership, Tanzanian farmers will be assured of a reliable market and a better price for their produce. I wish to encourage my Tanzanian colleagues to seize this opportunity for their economic betterment. Two, ICT. It is an open secret that India has made a remarkable progress in this sector. One of the notable achievements is the zero business application software import which has helped India to serve huge costs, increase control and security, improve the public service delivery. We have requested our Indian partner to help us strengthening our capacity in this field. Three, development of small and medium enterprises. India has agreed to support us in this field. You have just witnessed the signing of the joint plan of action between CEDO and NSIC for cooperation in the field of micro and medium enterprises. The POA provides for sharing of experiences between the two institutions, undertaking joint research, etc. We have also requested our Indian partner to assist us in the development of industrial incubators across the country so that our aspiration of, of becoming semi-industrialized country by 2025 can be realized. Four, international issues. 
we reiterated the need for urgent reform of the United Nations, including its Security Council, through an expansion in both categories of membership to make it more representative of the contemporary world. We reaffirm our support for India's candidature for a permanent membership of the UN Security Council. We have also requested our Indian partner to support the AU position in this regard. Other er four, five, other areas that we have agreed to strengthen, in which to strengthen cooperation and partnerships include education, defense, and security, infrastructure development, immigration matters, energy, trade and investment, to mention but a few. In conclusion, I would like once again to thank the Prime Minister for visiting us. Indeed, it has been a pleasure and honor for us to host you in our country. Finally, I urge all the relevant authorities to move with speed in implementing all signed agreements and what we have agreed. I thank you. Thank you very much, Madam, for the interpretation. Thank you. Your Excellency, Dr. John Pombe Magufuli, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Right Honorable Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India, Your Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, the Vice President and Ambassador John Kijazi, our Chief Secretary, this marks the end of our program in this room. Let me once again thank you so much for your time. And now, I welcome you to proceed to the Simba interest so that we can proceed with the next program. Thank you so much. Ni kahimu mkurugenzi wa mawasiliano ikoro Gesson Msigwa akiwa na toa maelezo ya kumalizia baada ya viongozi hawa wawili waziri mkuu wa India na Narendra Modi na rais wa Tanzania as our principals are using the simba entrance we can use uh, the open the open the door please Rais wa Tanzania John Pombe Magufuli wakiwa wamezungumza hapa kuhusiana na masuala mbali mbali ambayo wamekubaliana katika ushirikiano na miradi ambayo itatekelezwa ikiwemo mradi wa maji huko Zanzibar mradi wa maji Dar es Salaam e, masuala ya mashine ya kuajiri ya watu wa kansa kupima na kutibu watu wagonjwa wa kansa uh, saratani katika hospitali ya rufaa ya Bugando na e, vile vile e, imezungumzia katika ushirikiano katika masuala ya kilimo na bidhaa za jamii ya dengu ambazo zitakuwa zinauzwa nchini India na kwa hiyo kuna itajika uh, maarifa ya kilimo ili kuhakikisha kwamba mazao hayo yanalimwa katika kiwango kilicho bora ili kupata mazao yaliyo bora yanaweza